hey I ain't trying to make a big deal out of this but the reason why you see all them quills right there you see all them shit sticking to this the, uh, this truck tire this is a full-size commercial vehicle you know what I mean by quills I did see something on in the right lane sitting in the right lane for like it looked kind of gray it looked like a possum or a raccoon but I thought it was a porcupine I mean I'm saying it might be I was right I just climbed out of this truck taking a bath right and I'm getting ready to empty the trash I'm fixing to empty the trash and all of a sudden when I came around here it shot me right in the face man it scared the piss out of me that thing that I saw I did swerve and try to miss it I couldn't tell if it was a solid object but it did look like a raccoon or a, or a possum I said nah it could be a porcupine my hunches was right. It is a porcupine. It gotta be. And I'm scared to touch it because I don't know what that thing might have. Porcupine quills are in my truck tire for the first time. I've never seen this happen once in my life. I'm not taking it out with these gloves either. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers and pull it out. You see how dangerous this shit is? You cannot tangle with wildlife, otherwise it goes into human flesh. Very quick, very easy. I can't believe this thing could actually stuck like that. Now I know what to do when I be floating around. That's why I got this right here. I saw one of them motherfuckers coming out of the bushes over there in Columbus, Ohio. I grab my stuff like this and I pull it out. I'm holding it up like a Rambo and I see that thing swerve away from me. I'm telling you boy, if I ever run into a flat tire situation and I pull over on the side of the road at night, which it did happen already, you damn right I'm going to keep my knife with me. I pass no time with this. I can't believe it. This is my first time in my life I've ever seen this happen. damn right this is as far as I'm going I don't feel like catching any disease or whatever I'm not used to that I'm new to it so I don't know I'm gonna throw all this stuff in the trash but that's what I was fixing to do but I didn't get the chance to do it yeah I saw it sitting in the road. I thought it was a raccoon or a possum. And then my third shot, my third arm. My third thought or choice or whatever, my third guess. I said, you know what? It looks something like a porcupine, but I don't think it is. All of a sudden, I'm coming towards this door to get rid of this trash and then this hit me in the face and it scared the piss out of me it's like boy I mean shit this damn job is dangerous man I tell you I could have broke down on the side of the road and not come out at night that did happen I mean I didn't break down but I remember I climbed out, I heard a loud noise uh, somewhere on a truck and I pulled over one night on the exit ramp, I thought it was serious. So it's like um, I climbed out at night in pitch black darkness and I grabbed my buck knife and I folded it open because I can't tell if anything's watching me out there. I don't know if some animal might go underneath the trail and bite me or whatever. All of a sudden, I see porcupine quills. I don't believe this. I'll tell you what kind of allergies I got. I'm allergic to penicillin. And I'm also allergic to... Uh, I'm allergic to, you know, them wooden pallets that, that's covered with paint, the blue ones. I'm allergic to those blue pallets because... In 1997, when I was at Target, 
One of them pallets fell on the back of my leg and I was breaking out in hives. I had wheels all over my chest. My skin turned red and everything. Oh, this shit. This bitch right here ain't got nothing, man. Fuck it. I'm gonna empty this motherfucker. This motherfucker might be a racist white neighbor and I don't like it. No, nah, I'm out of hours, but I need to come off the road. I don't want to be here. All right, I guess it's not. It's got a couple of black people out there. One, two, I did see a third one. I guess I'm not really in a racist neighborhood, but I think, I don't think I want to assume that. I don't know this place. So, oh, wait a minute. There goes a black female and a white guy. <laughs> there goes another black guy. I guess I was wrong. No, both of them walking next to each other like it ain't nothing. I guess I'm in a okay neighborhood. I've never been to this part of New Jersey before. I just gotta find a place to empty this trash. I swear, that's the second time I ran into wildlife with this truck. The first one, a bird was inside of my truck up against the window. Now I got porcupine quills in my semi-truck tire. I don't understand that. I didn't think porcupine was that strong. But they're dangerous now. Now I know it. Excuse me. Is there a trash can I could dump the stuff in? Uh. There's some life to float all over this place. Porcupine quills in my front tire. <laughs> oh boy, I tell you. That truck right there is going through all kinds of shit, man. Oh, hell yeah. I've been pulling tactical moves with that truck. Now it's been through hell. It started out fresh and brand new. It only got 222,000 miles, which is not so much. But it, it's been going through hell and it's exposed to hell. It's exposed to all kinds of nasty shit and it's already showing it. It don't show it on the outside, but it's been through it. Damn, I hate this shit. I don't like this neighborhood at all. I don't want to get away from here. Damn, you said that at the friggin' entrance. I don't see shit. I'm gonna get out of here, man. I left my truck way behind that building. I put my um I put my club steering my steering wheel anti-theft device, the club. I put my um theft device on the steering wheel so nobody was stealing. As long as I don't walk away from it, as long as I don't stay away from it for like a couple of days, that they'll give him enough time to take the steering wheel off and replace it with another one and steal it. Even with a club on the steering wheel, they could do that to any car or truck. I could even do it myself. If I wanted to steal a truck or a car, that's what I would do. Oh, wait a minute, I see something. Instead of me floating around them bitches, you know what? Walking up and dumping trash over there. Some of them stingy and friggin' prejudice. Let me see if I can throw it right here. Yeah. I gotta go through all this shit just to get rid of some trash. This is crazy. Sorry, please. I hate this shit. Oh, there 
Well, no, we'll go back the other way. I'm gonna do this. Can't stop going for this piece. <coughs> I'm just gonna stroll on by and mind my business. I don't think I wanna look at anybody out there. I'm gonna keep my shit to myself and just walk right to be the person I'm supposed to be. I'm gonna respect myself a certain way, I'm gonna respect certain other people a certain way. Damn, this is the second time I run into wildlife for that truck, man. Seriously. I know I saw it. I did swerve. I swerved towards the left and came back in. I think, no, no, wait a minute. Yeah, I swerved towards the left and came back into the left. Thanks. I almost dived right in front of that car driver. I swear, there it is. I swear. The first time that happened to me, I came back walking towards my truck and as soon as I walk up to the driver's side, there's a bird up against the window, inside of it. And now, this is my second time running into another surprise. I see porcupine quiz stuck in my truck. Like right now, you see, I came from um, New York. I got this trail up in New York. Boy, I hope some car don't mess with me. I picked this trail up in New York and I'm supposed to head to North Carolina. Well, since Western Express haven't given me a paycheck in two months, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna waste my strength anymore. So now I let my hours burn out and it's it's down to zero. I'm in violation right now, so I can't move. So, since my hours are out, when I charge up around 4 p.m. today, I'm not gonna leave the spot yet. I'm thinking of leaving at 9.30 tonight, or 10 o'clock. This way I don't deal with all that extra shit in the, you know, D.C. area, because I'm off, uh, Actually, I'm in New Jersey, right, just right below 287 somewhere. I'm in Wilmington, I think. Not Del, probably Delaware, but I know I'm in New Jersey, I know that. But. I think I better ventilate that truck. I got some nasty bacteria up in it. Spoil the food and all that. Like I said, I swerved away. I didn't really swerve too far away from it. When I saw it, hold up a second. I can't hear myself talking. Engine's loud. Engine's making noise. Like I said, when I swerved, I actually swerved next to it, right? I almost ran over it. I probably did. I did touch it. I knew I touched it, but I don't think I killed it. Because I didn't want it. I didn't really feel like messing up my truck and messing, you know, blocking, causing a roadblock or anything. I didn't feel like, you know, messing up my suspension. So I kind of went that way real quick. I knew I must have hit it. But all of a sudden, I realized I was telling the truth. I did touch it. I probably killed it, but then my third choice was I said, man, it looks something like a porcupine, but I don't think it is. Now I find it out.
<laughs> like I said to myself, don't let your eyes deceive you. If you think you saw something, it might be it. Otherwise, if you ignore it and say, nah, it's just my imagination, you're in for it. You're gonna have shit stuck in your, in your fucking arm. You'll be getting taxed here, hell joint, brown rot or whatever it is. The worst form of disease or who knows what. Or maybe you might plow right into a, a sign or something. You think it's not a person on the side of the road and you have doubts. Yes, you're in for it. You, you're in for manslaughter. You're going to kill somebody. That's why I change lanes when I think I see something, even if I'm not sure about it. I ran over a raccoon with this thing already. I know that. I was scared of my airflow deflector getting damaged. Let me turn this shit off for a while. I think I better rest this because... Oh, here's another problem I'm running into. You see this? It's like I spent $200 more unnecessary. I actually filled it up to full. It went straight down to half within 400 miles. That's because I had the AC on. When I turned the AC off and I'm driving down the road with both windows rolled down, well, I saved fuel that then. That's when it happened. So now I'm just cooling the truck now. I took my bath already. I had to keep the engine on so I could operate the microwave oven. What else? I guess I already cleaned everything up. I'm gonna turn the engine off now. I did clean it up a while ago, but I started stepping in that, that dirt and mud just to get this trailer. I had to hook up to it. Hold up a second. I just put on, these, these gloves are brand new anyways. I mean, I didn't use them yet. I bought them, I bought them a month ago. I bought five of them. I actually throw the other ones in the wash, in the laundry bag. I grabbed my last brand new pair and I'm wearing it right now. Since I just took my bath, I decided to put these new ones on just to keep myself from getting infected, you know, like COVID-19 or you know, touching the keypad at the truck stop, you know, picking up germs. I can't believe this, damn. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and leave them things in the tire. I think I better get out. Let me get out and take care of it. Nah, I don't feel like it because I don't know. <laughs> it's just me, man. I just love being sensitive for a good reason. At least I'm protecting myself. I think I better wear them other shits. I don't want to wear my best gloves and do this. <laughs> I know, I know y'all, y'all think I'm tripping out, but uh, I am not trying to exaggerate. I'm not trying to show off and put on a show. I really cannot stand. I'm very scared. I'm scared to death of wildlife. You know why? I don't mind touching a deer or whatever, but the thing is. I cannot afford to get sick and I don't want to find out what might happen to me if I touch one of those things. I don't know. Y'all might do crazy things to yourself. Y'all do what you want, but I'm my own person. I think I got this one here. I could be safe if I got bitten by an animal. I might be protected. I might even dive up in a uh, hospital and find out that they just vaccinated me and they didn't find any trace of disease. Well, I'm gonna just say that's just a blessing from God if that ever happened. Shit, I got the wrong pair. Nah, uh, something in right? I'm gonna go ahead and fucking do something else. I can't find the other pair that match.
can't believe this. This is my first time in my life I ever got this close. Look how sharp that shit is, man. Why I tell you, you pull your damn ass over on the side of the road and see what happened. Look at this. Yeah, it was a bird just like that inside of my truck. Take a good look at this, man. I've never been this close once in my life. This is my first time. You know what? Uh, Put it down right here. Shit. Jeez. And they actually, they feel kind of strong when you pull them up. I heard that people's dogs run into this. And the dog snow to actually have porcupine quills sticking up. And you hear him yelling and crying. You wait till I post this shit. Yeah, they feel kind of strong, man. They're dangerous. It was a porcupine. Jeez. You know what else I didn't do? I didn't check under the hood yet to see if I killed it. I don't see any blood stain or anything. Damn. You know why I need to pull this out? Because I don't want to brush up against it by accident if I'm doing a preacher. I need to get, it, get rid of it right now. Oh shit. I now sit up my shirt. I gotta go scratch it up. I just took a bath and changed my shirt, man. Fuck. I just better not step in them damn things and go back into the truck with it because <laughs> if I go barefoot, I'll be sorry. This is some scary shit right here. I knew, I knew I touched it. Look how sharp this is. It went almost an eighth of an inch down into it. The backside is real thick. The backside is look like a damn needle, look like a dart. Oh man, they feel, they don't feel that strong, but it's good enough to pierce human flesh if you ever touch it. It will go straight down into your skin like about half an inch or so, compared to this. These truck tires weren't good enough, man. I can't believe this. This is some seriously scary. Oh man, I can't, look at this. No, that's just a problem. And it's like 30 of them, 20 of them. Man, I can't believe this. I would never get in a fight with a porcupine. I would have to use a gun or a BB gun to kill it. Damn. I'm not even done yet. Look at them. Them shits were like almost an eighth, almost less than a quarter close to it. Yes, they feel deep. They feel deep. All of that needle went into the tire. All of it. Damn. I know about porcupines in the, from the Discovery Channel. Yes, but I never thought commercial vehicle tires can get pierced by them. That's crazy. Nah, I ain't afraid of nothing. I'm not gonna sanitize it or do anything to it. I'll be alright. Where this truck is going to? Hell, oh my goodness. Wait till I post this shit on YouTube, y'all are gonna freak out. I messed up my shirt, man. I messed up my best shirt. All right, I got 24 minutes. I'm gonna try to hurry up real quick. Now, since I'm out here, let me finish it. I'm not gonna step in that. I'm gonna walk far away from it. You're right. Part of the animal might be inside of that truck. I better go check it. Fucking flies out here. <laughs> oh, I got the other side. Oh man, fuel filter starting to pack up. 
I released some of it yesterday, but now I packed up. So far, I don't see anything real. The undercarriage looks like it's decent. It looks normal. Let me check the other side. Nice. I bet you I'll find something over there. Something to tell me. Nah. I don't see no blood. No. No tissue, no flesh, no f no pieces of hair or nothing. Oh, by the way, all of this black tar you see, it's all over. The construction site did that. It came from the asphalt, I guess. Let me just give you one look. You see that shit right there? Watch what happens when you think you're having it easy, think you could pull over or Whenever you run over an animal, you just learn something. I don't know porcupine quills could go like half a quarter down, in, you know, that far into a commercial vehicle tire. I didn't, I never thought of that. It should be a car, but a semi truck, I never thought of it. I know about I know about all this stuff from the Discovery Channel, but I don't know any personal details. I ain't no hunter, I know I'm not a safari person or nothing. I just learn by what I see on TV and I take it seriously. Like I said, I'm scared of going near it. I gotta clean this stuff out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over this again. Oh shit, well, anyway, I'm at 27 minutes on this video, I'm a cleaner, I'm a organizer, I just did it like two days ago and I gotta do it again, I'm gonna sweep it up, I'm gonna get it all decent, take this gloves off. alright, I'm gonna put the name of the video, I'm gonna put the name of the video so you can find it. This way you all don't get bored so fast. Yeah, I just had my truck key, now it got dirty again. I think I better turn it back on. I need to go change that filter. Before this video ends, I'm gonna just go ahead and stuff some more information into this. I had thoughts, I was there fantasizing about what I want to do. Like, instead of Western Express, instead of me reporting this truck to break down whenever I run into a problem, the next time I need to knock out any tires, I won't go to them anymore, I'll try. But as of right now, I'm going through a crisis. Just like I said it a hundred times, I have not gotten a paycheck in, what now, two months? And I'm not going to get one this week either. I don't know about next week, but I'm going to have to get serious with um, payroll. And um, I already got serious with Western Express itself. I just need to attack payroll and find out what's going on. But the thing is, what I plan on doing... Um... I'm thinking if I ever get another tire blowout, I'm, I'm going to select my own tire. You know why? It's coming from their side and they're fucking up my side. So when I spend money out of my... Oh shit, you bastard. Fuck. It almost fell out. I'm going to try not to go too far with this. I'm going to try to be careful. When I spend money out of one of these, I'm going to use one of these and buy one of those tires for this truck. Or one of these. Or something like one of these. That's the way, I, that's the route I'm gonna take, you know why? 
Because when POs come out of my, when it comes out of their side, they're, they're the ones that's going to nail me. They're going to worsen me. So I'm going to have to switch my game plan. Anything happens to this truck, I'm going to try and fix it. Anything I can't reach, I can't do nothing about that. But I have kept this truck in good shape for so long. Oh, the next thing I got to do, I'm going to have to add a few more pounds of air in those tires. I just checked it. Uh, so far, I had these tires for like looking at two months now. Two months without a blowout. Two whole months, maybe more. Because I kept track of the air pressure and everything. I kept doing pre-chips, everything. All right. I got two minutes and ten seconds left on this video. I'm trying to hurry up. Oh, I haven't eaten, man. I'm starving. I'm starving right now. Shit. I had me a Guinness Stout beer yesterday. I put sugar in it, brown sugar. I was, you know what? I'll probably go after them eggs right there. Yeah, I know. I didn't wash my hands, did I? Don't worry, I just took a bath and they're kind of clean. I was wearing my brand new gloves anyway. My hands are clean. I took a bath already. I just took a bath just now. And I was wearing a brand new pair of gloves that haven't been worn at all. So I'm extra clean. I ain't worrying about it. I won't catch no rabies or nothing. I got one more minute and 10 seconds. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I can drink it now. I'm on my 10 hour break. I got me a bottle of water to clear out the contaminants whenever I do that. I'm not a heavy drinker. I'm not a drinker. I'm just, you know, trying to loosen up them pores in my intestines and my stomach. I don't know. All right, y'all. I'm getting a headache. I need to eat. Um, this video is fixing a cut right now. All right. I got to do my thing. I, if I come up, if I see anything new, I'll let y'all know. Check y'all later.